you go to a vending machine to buy coke or newspapers and use coins. As you bring and as you create the opportunities for utilization of the coins, people see their utility. But if you produce a currency that has no use, then you have a problem. So this is a gradual process. Now, the 5,000 Naira notes. I'll just say three things. First of all, if you go back to those statistics, how did we decide to approach that 10% segment that accounts for 70% of the value of cash? First of all, we made cash expensive by saying if you take out more than a certain amount, 150,000 Naira in a day in cash, you pay a levy. But you can't make it illegal. If a man has 50 million naira in his account and says, I want my 50 million naira in cash, I'll pay the levy. You have to give him. So why do I need to print five times as many notes to service that customer as I need to? If a man is taking a million naira, why do I need 1,000, 1,000 naira notes? when I can give him 200 5,000 Naira notes. And it costs me the same to print a 5,000 Naira note as to print a 1,000 Naira note. If you move, if you move 5,000 Naira notes in a bullion van from Abuja to Kaduna, for you to move the same value in 1,000 Naira notes, the van has to make that trip five times. You buy the fuel five times, you secure it five times, you need five times as much time to count those notes, to process, to dispose, and five times as much space in the vault of banks. If you go to an ATM machine today and you want 100,000 Naira, the minimum number of notes you take is 100. Meanwhile, if you have 5,000 Naira notes, Five of you can take 100,000 Naira with the same number of notes. That costs the central bank the same cost to print. Now, for me, the efficiency gains are clear. The number of times you print your ATMs, the number of bullion vans you need, the number of counting machines you require, the amount of money you spend on disposal, and remember that this is targeted at a small number of customers that are heavy users of cash. The 10 Naira notes are still going to be pop printed. The 5 Naira, the 20 Naira, the 100 Naira. We're not getting rid of them. And all the people that are complaining about corruption, right now, what do they do? They buy US dollars. 60-70% of all the cash dollars purchased from BTCs in this country are for transactions inside Nigeria. The dollar has become a second national currency. No, is it not true? People go, they take 3 million naira, go and buy $20,000 and put in their pocket. Now, yes, there is corruption. But not everybody who uses cash is corrupt. And not everybody who is rich is a thief. And there is a valid point that if a currency has lost its competitiveness as a store of value, it makes sense to produce a higher denomination. It makes economic sense. So the efficiency gains are very clear to me. If the central bank reduces its costs, the money goes to the treasury. Last year, the Minister of Finance is here. Last year, the central bank gave them a check of 64 billion naira. We could, we, could only, we could only do that because we were able to reduce the cost of doing business. Yes, we are not a profit-making body, and we keep saying it. We take the finance. We are not a profit center. Okay? Our mandate is price stability. However, 
we can try to achieve our mandate at the lowest possible cost. And that is all we're doing. The efficiency of the financial system and the payment system is a major part of economic development. We're moving away from cash, we're moving away from paper, we're moving into technology. Yes, the technology has to catch up, we need bandwidth, we need um, the mobile phones to be there, we need the um, infrastructure to be in place, we need transportation, but we are moving in the right direction. The final thing is about this talk about oh, the women. And I've heard all sorts of things from women who say, uh, from people who say, oh, this is just, uh, we're putting women um, ahead of our national heroes. What the central bank should have done is to put the women on five naira <laughs> and bring out the others. So I say to them, okay, who do you want on the 5,000 naira note? That will not be controversial. Can you imagine if I put a money bill on 5,000 naira notes? What I would hear? <laughs> or if I took Herbert McCauley, how do I decide who should be on 5,000? Plus, the way we see it at the central bank is different from the way it's presented. For us, the more important you should be placed on the note that has a higher level of circulation. The five naira note is the one that circulates most widely among Nigerians. And you have the Prime Minister there. That was how it started. And as you move on, this 5,000 naira note is going to be very limited, with limited circulation. It's not the numbers you write on the paper. More Nigerians use 5 naira, 10 naira, 20 naira, 50 naira than will ever see the 5,000 naira note. But more important, that 5,000 naira note and the symbols on it are profoundly political. On one face, you have these three women. And they are not just women. They are women, but they are not just women. Okay? These are women who were involved in the fight for Nigeria's independence. They were women who were involved in setting up the foundation members of leading First Republic political parties. They were women who were involved in the struggle for democracy against the military, for social justice. One of them even died as part of the struggle. So they were not just women. They were political leaders in their own rights. They represented freedom, they represented democracy. And on the other side, we have the National Assembly. <coughs> Why? Because only in a democracy do you have a parliament. With the military, you have the executive, you have the judiciary. Only in a democratic setting do you have the parliament. So the 5,000 Naira note captures a political statement of a country that seeks freedom, that seeks liberty, that seeks democracy, and the values that those three great women stood for. And you hear all sorts of things, oh, the, the family says they don't like it. Which family? Which family? You know, Fumila or Asamputi, any woman that gave birth to Fela. <laughs> eh? For those of us who used to go to shrine, nobody can claim her. Nobody, nobody can claim her to be his mother. She's our mother. So, all those women, for what they did to our country, no, the biological family should know that we all have claims to them now. <laughs> we do not need, we do not need anybody's permission. They are mothers of the nation. They are our mothers. <laughs> so, 
So, since I'm in keeping with my resolution not to be controversial, <laughs> the records shall show that the governor of the central bank presented a paper entitled <laughs> Transformation of the African Economy. <laughs> Emerging challenges of promoting cross-border services in banking. Thank you.